Hello friends! This week's video is going to be a little bit different. It's more of a personal story, but I was encouraged by my friend and client, Catherine, to tell this story. If you give me five minutes, I will share with you the five best bourbon bottles that I got on my recent tour to the Kentucky Bourbon Trail with my dad and my brother. Okay, so this first bottle is the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. And this is made by Heaven Hill Distillery. My brother had set up a tasting there for us. And what was really interesting is we got there a little bit early for our tasting and we walk in the front door and we notice that there's a bunch of people waiting at the counter to check out. And we then notice that behind the counter there's a bunch of bottles that are allocated for a sale that they're doing. And they do these randomly. And this Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel is one of those that were behind that counter. So my dad, my brother and I were each able to get a bottle. This next bottle, is from Maker's Mark, and it's kind of special in a few ways. So this was one of the best places for us on our trip. It was such a beautiful distillery, and we had a really good time. We took a little bit more time at this distillery and had a couple drinks. It was actually on the Derby race day, so we had our first, I had my first mint julep, and it was actually really good. So what's special about this, this is the 2019 RC6 uh, from Maker's Mark, and we were able to dip, my brother and I both were able to dip our own bottles uh, I'll throw some pictures up of that. Uh, and so that's really fun. Not only are these kind of sort of hard to find, but we were able to dip our own copies of these bottles. Next up is Angel's Envy. This was actually our first score that we had on the trip. Um, we had waited in line at Buffalo Trace and kind of struck out that first day. And then we went downtown uh, on Main Street in Louisville. Louisville! And this was actually something they told us that they had, but it wasn't out on the shelves anywhere. We had to ask for it. And there were just a few of these left underneath these cabinets that they had. It's a collectible wooden box of Angel's Envy. It's got the nice wings on the back and it's got a magnetic latch in the front. So you take that off and oh, there's your Angel's Envy. It's a uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in port wine barrels. And it is uh, cask strength. So it's Another very rare and hard to find bottle. Okay, this next bottle is the most expensive bottle that we were able to pick up. When I say expensive, I'm talking about aftermarket. So when you buy this bottle, I'll tell you what it is first. It's the Single Oak Project from Buffalo Trace. And I'll tell you a little bit about that project first. They went, they're, they're doing a, an experiment. This is a 20 year experiment where they've picked 92 trees, they cut them in half and made a, the top half was a barrel, the bottom half was a barrel, and they fill those up. So there's only 192 barrels in this project. And then they sold those, they aged them for eight years and they sold them in these quantities, 375 milliliter. You'll see that they're smaller bottles. They're half the size of a normal bottle of bourbon. And they sold those to have a, a contest to see what was liked the best by the general public and barrel number 80 was the one that was liked the most. This is barrel number 122 and it's a weeded bourbon. And what I was talking about aftermarket. So over the counter, when we were at Buffalo Trace Distillery and bought this, it was 90 bucks, something like that. And the moment we walked out of there, we could have sold this for five, 600 bucks. I am not gonna sell any of the bottles that I bought. When I buy bourbon, I buy it to share it with friends, celebrate big occasions, whatever. And this is gonna have to be something where I'm celebrating a big occasion, but I also don't want it to sit on a shelf for a long time either. Maybe up to a year, but I'm not gonna let it sit there for six, seven years. I'm gonna enjoy this bottle at some point sooner as opposed to later. And finally, anytime you go on a trip and buy a bunch of bourbon, it's probably a good idea to bring your wife some gifts. So I got a couple of distillery t-shirts for my wife, Trista, and I also got her a Buffalo Trace bourbon cream. This is kind of like a Bailey's, so you could throw that in your coffee or make holiday drinks with it or something like that. And we're gonna open this up and enjoy it. I had a sample of this. It's amazing. So those were five of the bottles I was able to get on that trip with my dad and my brother. And that was an awesome trip. It's great to travel with family and do something fun. That was the first time my dad, my brother, and I had ever gone on a trip together. It's a nine and a half hour drive from Kansas City to Kentucky, to Louisville and Lexington, but it was worth every minute of it. And we have some fun bottles of bourbon to show for it. Well, I hope you're having a great week and I hope you like this little bit of a different format of video this time. I'll see you next week.